certain point of view during collection, there is an upward drive bilaterally in the facet joint, upward and forward glide. During extension, there is a backward glide. Impulse flexion, upward glide, extension, downward glide. During lateral flexion to the right, there will be upward glide on the left side and downward glide on the right side. During rotation of the spine, there will be an upward glide on the left, downward glide on the right, plus compression of the left facet and gaping of the right facet. Which means if I have a limitation in the right facet joint, I will have a limitation to the left rotation and I will have a limitation to the right side bending. Okay, cut.